I'm David Henson with Henson First Attorneys. While you can't prevent all bicycle injuries, there are five things that you can do to give yourself the best chance of staying safe. Be visible. The sad truth is that most motor vehicle drivers don't watch for cyclists on the road. And if they can't see you, there's a higher risk of being hit, sideswiped, or crowded off the side of the road. To make yourself and your bike as visible as possible, put reflectors or reflective tape on the bike frame and wheels. Wear brightly colored clothing. If you ride at night or in low visibility conditions, such as at dawn or dusk or in the rain or fog, make sure your bike has a light and wear clothing and a helmet with reflective tape. For low profile bikes or for added visibility, consider using a bright orange bike flag. Wear a helmet. Most states mandate helmet use for people under the age of 18. North Carolina state law requires helmets only until age 16. Smart cyclists of all ages wear helmets every time they ride. There are many different types of helmets depending on the person and the type of use. There are helmets for different ages, for road or commuter use, for mountain, BMX, downhill, and racing bikes. To learn more about helmets, visit the website for the Bicycle Helmet Safety Institute at www.bhsi.org. Then, once you read the basics, visit a bike shop that can help you fit with the best helmet for you and your cycling needs. Obey standard traffic rules. Do everything you would typically do as a motor vehicle driver without cheating the rules just because you're on a bicycle. That means no rolling stops at stop signs. And even though a bike doesn't have turn signals, you should always use hand signals to indicate turns. Stay hyper aware of your surroundings. Use all your senses to know all the potential hazards around you. Be on the lookout for less than optimal road conditions such as sand, gravel, glass, snow, ice, or slush. Watch also for potholes, sewer grates, debris, and crumbling concrete. Notice parked cars and remember that people may open car doors directly into your path. Remember too that not all drivers are civil to cyclists. That car coming up behind you may resent having to share the road and could try to scare you by swerving close to your bike or by loudly blowing their horn as they pass. Maintain your bike in good mechanical condition. Check the condition of the tires to make sure the rubber is pliable and not cracking. Also, make sure the tires are properly inflated to a proper PSI. How do you know what that is? Look on the side of the tire. Make sure the brake pads are in good condition. Examine the pads to make sure they aren't excessively worn down. No metal should show from the bottom of the pads, and the rubber shouldn't be cracked or look brittle. If you see any of those signs, then it's time to replace them. Make sure that your gear, shifters, and brakes are working properly. That means taking it for a short test ride before heading out on the open road. Anyone who's biked more than just a few miles knows the displeasure of having a flat tire. Always take a spare tire tube and changing tool with you so you can fix the flat and get back on the road quickly. Safety depends on a number of factors. You, other drivers, your equipment, and how you draw, operate your bike on the roadway. Keep these five safety tips in mind each time you go out on the road for a fun ride. This is David Henson with Henson First Attorneys. If you have questions, we have answers.